Little did I know when I first came to Germany a few years ago on a short study abroad trip that Germany would become my second home. To be honest with you, I was not the biggest fan of Germany, but it's definitely grown on me and changed me in so many great ways. This is not to say I don't miss the US. I really miss warm weather, friendly strangers, and the US has such incredible diversity. But Germany has really changed me in so many ways, and here are four main ways that Germany has changed me. Number one, I've become more conservative. Maybe not what you think, but living in Germany has given me a guilty conscience for food waste or for not recycling. The environment was never really something that I thought about in the US. Like I knew we should take care of our environment, but I didn't practically do that. Living in Germany for a year has taught me how to properly take care of the environment, how to recycle, and now I use reusable bags and I even try to use those when I'm back in the US. So I reuse things more than ever and that's all thanks to Germany and I really, really admire German's initiative for learning more about how to protect the environment. Number two. I have definitely changed my opinion on gun control and gun regulations. So I'm from Texas where in Texas we have a very liberal mindset with guns. The mentality more or less is more guns equals less shootings even though there's no real research to support that. This is a really complicated topic with not a simple answer but after spending so much time in Germany I noticed how gun violence wasn't really an issue here so I kind of just had an aha moment where I realized that more guns does not equal less violence. And while I think that completely taking guns out of the US is just not a viable solution because it is such a big part of the culture, I do think that making guns harder to obtain is a smart decision and smart move and I'm no longer against making that happen. Three, now that we got out of that one, let's talk about sound. I used to be so horrified with silence. In the US, we have a pretty loud culture with music, entertainment. When you walk into a restaurant in the US, it's very loud. And that's kind of what I knew. I was kind of really uncomfortable in silent situations. I didn't really know how to handle a situation when there's two people and it was complete silence between one another. I no longer feel uncomfortable with silence and I actually find that I crave it sometimes. Now when I get on an Ubon or in a cafe and it's quiet, instead of it freaking out to me, it's just more normal and I can value and appreciate it a lot more than when I first came to Germany. Number four, I definitely appreciate the outdoors and the sun a lot more than I did before. Being from Texas, I was always trying to get away from the sun. We would never eat outside because it was too hot and the sun was kind of something that you were always trying to escape, especially for your skin and your eyes. So I didn't really appreciate the sun that much. So the sun was always kind of something I was trying to get away from. When I came to Germany, I was really amazed by seeing people trying to get more towards the sun, whether it was on the street and they were trying to directly stand in front of the sun or whether it was in a tram or a bus trying to sit near the sun. That was really confusing and strange for me. Until I spent fall, winter, and spring in Germany, I kind of understand more where this mentality is coming from. It's not as sunny here as in Texas. So the sun here is more of a treasure and it's something that is really appreciated here. So I definitely appreciate going outside more and getting underneath the sun, especially the few times it does come during the cold winter months. So those are just a few ways on how Germany has changed me as an American. I absolutely love Germany and my time here. There are things that I am really critical about Germany with, but there's a lot of things that I'm critical about the US with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. I will see y'all next week. Ciao, tschüss, bis dann.